Hello friends. Uh, the other day I was taking a table viva for hematology practicals and uh, the practical was of peripheral blood smear. So the, the student uh, denoted that there are uh, lymphocytes, small lymphocytes and large lymphocytes. So my obvious next question was, why do you see the small and large lymphocyte only in the peripheral blood? Why don't you see any other blood cell type like this, small and larger? Why the other blood cell types do not come in two varieties, but lymphocytes, two varieties are seen in the peripheral blood. Like you don't see small or large RBCs. Uh, you don't see small and large neutrophils, small and large uh, eosinophil or small and large platelet for that matter. No other blood cell shows this type of variation, but lymphocyte shows this. So uh, let's try to understand why the lymphocytes occur in the two varieties in the peripheral blood. Now, first of all, let it be clear that there is no correlation with T and B lymphocyte. Point number one. Okay. T and B lymphocytes uh, are the functional varieties, functional types of the lymphocytes. Small and large lymphocytes are the morphological varieties of the lymphocytes. That's point number one. Now, the question is, uh, the small and large lymphocyte, these are the developmental stages of lymphocytes. You know, uh, the lymphocyte or the lymphoblast, the precursor cell, it enlarges and then it divides into two smaller lymphocytes. So, the point to be noted is, a smaller lymphocyte is an older lymphocyte or more mature lymphocyte and a larger lymphocyte is little younger. So that was the point number one really to be noted. That is, uh, these are the developmental stages of lymphocytes, the large and then the small, smaller the older one or a more matured one. Still, the question remains as to why do you see the developmental stages of lymphocytes but not of the other blood cell types. Let's answer that question now. Uh, but uh, point taken that these are the developmental stages. So, uh, smaller one is a little older one or the matured one. Okay, the lymphocyte. Now, uh, why do you see the developmental stages? Uh, why this is the case only with lymphocytes and not with any other blood cell type? not any other WBC or even for that matter RBC or platelet. Why don't, why don't you see the developmental stages of those cells? Let's uh, answer this question. The reason is difference in maturation, extensive travel plan with uh, quite a uh, to and fro travel or back and forth travel and lifespan, longer lifespan. So, uh, Okay, now why do we see developmental stages of lymphocytes in the peripheral blood? That's the moot question. Look, a pluripotent hematopoietic stem cell in the bone marrow is going to form all the blood cell types. So, uh, it forms committed stem cell of the erythroid series and committed stem cell of the lymphoid series. Now, this lymphoid series cell now it is committed to form lymphocyte. It leaves the bone marrow. So point to be noted is lymphocytes leave the bone marrow at an early stage of development and maturation. Compare this with other blood cell types, RBCs, all the other WBCs and platelets. They will, uh, they will be formed entirely in the bone marrow. They continue to their formation and differentiation in the bone marrow itself. So that's the point to be noted. Now, in the case of all other blood cell types, their colonies are formed together in the bone marrow. They are released together, their colonies, like all RBCs uh, from the reticulocyte stage, all of them, that, that entire colony will be released into the circulation. It will travel in the circulation. All the time it will be in the blood circulation. And then at the end of lifespan, 
uh, it will be degraded, destroyed in the spleen. In the case of WBCs, uh, other than lymphocytes, they are formed together, their colonies are formed together uh, in the bone marrow. Then they are released into the circulation and mind you, all the other WBCs uh, except lymphocyte, they have short lifespan in the circulation. So they are formed together, uh, each type of WBC, their colony will be formed together in the bone marrow. It will be released into the circulation, short time in the circulation and then in the tissues and that's it. So bone marrow, circulation where it is for short time, short duration, 4 to 8 hours in the circulation and next 4 to 5 days in the tissues, that's for neutrophil. Same is the case with uh, most of the other WBCs. So uh, you don't, uh, you can't see developmental stages of uh, these cells. That is, they are developed and matured together at one place. They come into the blood and then they go into the tissues and destroyed. Uh, in the case of lymphocytes, first of all, longest lifespan for a blood cell is that of lymphocyte, 300 days, okay? And it was released from the bone marrow at an early developmental stage. That means even after release from the bone marrow, it is going to continue its development. It's going to continue its uh, maturation and processing. So from the bone marrow, it comes into the blood, goes to the primary lymphoid structures where its processing uh, takes place. Then from those structures, it comes back into the blood again. It goes to the secondary lymphoid structures, lymph nodes. Then again, if it is wherever it is required, it will be again released into the blood. It will go to the tissues, again come back into the blood. So uh, its development, lymphocytes development continued in this, in this whole process. And therefore, you see developmental stages of lymphocytes. Long lifespan and extensive travel and going back and forth in blood. So therefore, uh, you see the developmental stages of these lymphocytes in the peripheral blood. But that's, that does not happen with other cell types. Well, you do see uh, some developmental stages like neutrophils, uh, you see nuclear lobes, etc. But uh, to be uh, more specific about the lymphocytes, long lifespan and uh, quite a travel. So therefore, you see these developmental stages with lymphocytes only. Okay, so uh, the point that was to be highlighted was that all other blood cell types, they are developed together in the bone marrow, they are released into the blood, they will have, they will have their stay in the blood and then they will be destroyed together. So you don't see developmental stages for those cells, uh, but lymphocytes, they re left the bone marrow at an early stage. So their development has to continue and that is what happens and therefore you see the developmental stages of lymphocytes. So that is why you see uh, small and large lymphocyte, these two varieties in the case of lymphocytes only. Okay, And uh, you can answer this way that a, a lymphoblast enlarges and then divides to, fall, uh, to form two small and matured lymphocytes. So smaller lymphocyte means an older or more matured lymphocyte. So that was the answer to the question why only lymphocytes come in two varieties in the peripheral blood.